Welcome back to Right on the Money, the go-to resource for your financial decisions. Now, our guest today, Jay Peak, president of Peak Financial Corporation. Jay, always good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. And now, today we've been talking about your program, the Harvest Retirement Program. And in case you missed the first segment, you missed a great conversation about uh, pecan trees and how it works into your finances. But let's dive in and talk a little bit about Harvest Retirement Program. And in particular, let's talk about the world economy for a moment. What's going on out there? You know, I think that with so many scandals and everything happening right now, it's crazy. You can't open up your phone, read a newspaper, watch TV without seeing something new going on uh, that's totally out of your control. Mm -hmm. And I think that control of your finances should be a really big focal point for you because the world economy happening right now definitely won't control it, it'll diminish it. Mm -hmm. So said another way, stuff that happens in uh, Russia and China and all these different uh, places in the world sure. drastically affect our economy here in the U.S. So if we go to war, if we have something that happens uh, across the world, then that's going to affect your portfolio if you have it at risk in the market. It's also interrelated. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you could think, hey, economy's good, everything's great, we're plugging right along, and then all of a sudden you have a 20, 30, 40 percent loss in your stock market uh, account, and it could be because it's affected by someone across the world. And, it, you know, used to that could happen a little bit, but now it's so up and down, mm -hmm. you have to really watch it. That way you're protected when that happens. It sounds to me like you're, if I was if I was to say that back to you, it sounds to me like you're an advocate of taking control of what you can control. I absolutely believe you should take control of your finances and you need to do it right now mm -hmm. before someone else does. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me a little bit more then about, uh, I've, I've seen on the website you've got such great resources there, um, the ABCs when it comes to your money. Yeah, I think it's so simple. Um, it's just like we talked about earlier in the segments uh, about shaking hands and saying, hey, let's do this, right? And the ABCs is, makes it very simple for someone to understand how to allocate their money. So A is essentially uh, cash that you're going to have in the bank. And that could vary sometimes as, as low as 10%, sometimes as high as 20%. But that should be cash for emergencies, you know, six months or a year of income if you need it. Air conditioner breaks down. Yeah, exactly, yeah, which gotcha. happens, right? <laughs> you know, believe me, in Oklahoma it's hot. So you, if the air conditioner breaks, you need your A money. Uh, the B money is growth that essentially is, doesn't have any stock market risk, but mm -hmm. will beat inflation, right? Mm -hmm. So said another way, if you have your money in cash, um, a lot of that really isn't growing because of inflation, right? So you almost have a negative loss on cash. When you go into the B segment, you're looking more into growth that will beat inflation that has what's called a floor, which essentially keeps you from losing money in the market. Mm -hmm. um, and then your C column is your risk. Right, And so when you get into your risk, that's your 401k, IRA, 403b, TSP, whatever you want to call it. That's typically an IRAs, mutual funds, stocks, that sure. type of deal. So you really need all three. You need the growth column in the C. You need the cash reserve in case something happens. And most importantly, which most people don't have, is the B column, which puts a floor on your account and keeps you from going bankrupt if something happens in our world economy today. Wow, that's a, yeah, that is great that you've got it simplified down. It's very easy to follow, very easy to understand. Yeah, we believe so, and our clients love it. Well, tell me a little bit then about uh, one of the things that we had talked a little bit off camera was the rule of 100. And that's yeah. uh, I, I've heard that one before, but uh, I think a lot of people would, could really use a, a refresher on that. I think it's so interesting because I get the question all the time, well, Jay, how much should I have in each column, mm -hmm. right? Um, and typically, uh, we work off what's called the rule of 100, which basically means you take your age and you divide it into 100, and that gives you the percentage of money that you should be uh, keep safe. That is fascinating because it, a lot of people, like you mentioned, it, they either very focused just on the A, yep. or everything's over in the C, but right. they really need to have that uh, kind of that steady eddy. That yeah, it's a way to accumulate money without stock market risk. And essentially, later on in life, we kind of uh, turn on, so to speak, your personal pension plan, mm -hmm. which is a way of saying a lifetime income or a paycheck for life, which is so important because that's why we're all working, right? You save up in your 401k and most people when they retire at 65 or 70 or whatever age it is, they're not going to take out a lump sum. They're not going to take 500000 out of their 401k and just put in cash. Uh, you need to have an income. Mm -hmm. Right, So we uh, have accounts that will allow them to do that and they take that slowly over time as income and that way they never run out of money and they're not worried about, you know, 80 years old running out of money and say welcome to, right? And yep. we, we've seen so, <laughs> much, so many of them. Greeting somewhere. Right, absolutely. Do you find uh, commonality with 
the, the folks that come in when you meet them, when they first come into Peak Financial, yeah. do you see some common themes over and over again? Or Yeah, I think I, think I do. And I'll tell you why. Everybody has the same problems whether you're, you're rich, you're young, you're old, you're, you're poor, whatever it is, right? And so that it may be a different severity of that problem, mm -hmm. right? Um, but we work with a lot of high net worth clients that have the same problems as middle America, right? And I think that a lot of those problems are, how do I manage my finances today, right? To make sure I can still live a good life and enjoy and go on vacations and do what I wanna do, sure. um, but not deplenish my money. And then the second thing that we see a lot is risk. And what is your risk tolerance? And I think it's so funny because a lot of times you meet with a financial advisor and they give you a piece of paper and you're supposed to check on there and draw a smiley face and tell them if you lost a bunch <laughs> of money, it's, you're, they're okay with you doing that, right? How, how much pain do you have? <laughs> right. Yeah. And we don't think that's fair, right? Because a piece of paper is not reality. Mm -hmm. And when you look at a statement and you have a negative loss, that's reality. And so I think that when we come in and we do the Harvest Retirement Program for somebody, and now they don't have to see that negative loss in their statement, it's huge. Well, we're gonna talk more about that after the break. So after the break, we're gonna come back with Jay. We're also gonna talk about some very specific group of people uh, that you work with that you help. So uh, that's coming up on Right on the Money. We look forward to seeing you after the break. <music> 